Hey guys, welcome back to this channel and welcome to another video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. And those of you who have already subscribed and have stuck by me, even though I'm not posting regularly here, thank you so much. I hope I'm able to bring some value to you uh, by making this content here. And if nothing, I smile on a rainy day, as I always like to say. Uh, so let's get started. Now the point of making this video is a lot of us are not very well aware of what a life of a pathologist looks like on a daily basis. What do we do even as doctors, even people in healthcare are unaware of you know the value that we bring to patient care and so I want to change that and I want to familiarize all of you uh, as to you know what we do irrespective of which speciality you end up taking or which speciality you are practicing. Uh, so number one reason why I think you know you should become a pathologist is the ability to give an accurate result. So let's say a patient walks in with a lump in her breast and uh, it is difficult uh, by doing just a physical examination to tell the nature of the lump whether it is benign or it is malignant. There are some signs here and there but uh, the authority to give a gold standard report lies with only a pathologist. So we do something called as FNAC, which is a fine needle aspiration cytology. Um, and we take, you know, some of the cells from that particular lump using a needle. And then a uh, pathologist can tell whether this lump needs to be taken care of right away and the patient needs to be started on treatment. Or we can wait and follow up um, this particular lump and I feel like that's an incredible uh, value uh, that we can bring uh, for patients and for surgeons. Uh, so the ability to give an accurate report would be my number one reason why you should consider becoming a pathologist. Number two, the life of a pathologist is incredibly fulfilling. I mean throughout the day uh, you have a variety of tissues under your microscope and you have a variety of cases to deal with and it is extremely fulfilling to know that you are giving a gold standard diagnosis that is eventually deciding the treatment for the patient and improving the quality of their lives. My number three reason is a good work-life balance. Now we work very hard uh, during our work hours um, you know, which is in most cases 8 to 5, 9 to 4, uh, depending upon your own institute. But when we are there, we are constantly, uh, you know, studying, going through literature, going through several cases, several trays of slides, which are not just slides, but are actual patients. Um, who have trusted us to make the diagnosis for them. So we work very hard throughout the day and there's a lot to read and learn. I do not want to misguide the medical students, uh, you know, stating that this, uh, it's a very easy going field. No, you have to work hard. But then once we are home, uh, there are no emergencies. We can spend time with our family and friends and, you know, so, so, Pathologists are some of the happiest doctors you meet because the speciality offers the flexibility of working hours and it offers a great balance. Of course, balance is very subjective, depends on how you define it. Uh, but I think it's one of the reasons uh, that you can definitely consider choosing pathology. So number four reason is uh, pathology offers us a variety of uh, job opportunities. Uh, so pathologists can work in research department if they choose to. They can choose to be in academics and teach medical student. If they want to go into the corporate setup, they can choose to open their own lab or work for private labs uh, with really handsome salaries. And of course, then there is, uh, you know, you can obviously choose to do fellowship and uh, choose to further subspecialize in different branches like oncopathology, which is up and coming, uh, neuropathology, uh, derm path, soft tissue path, uh, renal path, you know, lung pathology, uh, depending upon your area of interest. So I think pathology offers a wide variety of things that you can do career-wise as well. 
last but definitely not the least i feel like diagnostics and especially pathology is at the forefront of all these technological advancement and i'm sure i've talked about it in my previous videos but if you are interested in artificial intelligence and uh, you know different types of uh, new technologies that are coming i feel like this is the best time to be a pathologist uh, because there's so much happening in the field there's so much integration happening in the technological front uh, ai is able to help us decide which cases to kind of look first so triaging is happening uh, liquid based cytology so integration of telepathology and there's just a lot happening in this regard so if you're truly interested uh, in technology i think this would be a wonderful speciality to be a part of right now so i hope you enjoyed that video and uh, hopefully it kind of made you interested in the subject of pathology uh, if you have any more questions you can put them down below in the comment section and i will see you with the next video bye, -bye.